Hello folks, this is a little video, a test shot on the Nikon D750, aperture 5.6, ISO 800 on both lenses. Um, of the two lenses, one is a uh, Nikkor 70-300 VR, and the other is the 300mm f4.5. The difference being uh, six elements on the 300mm prime and uh, 17 elements on the Nikkor 70-300 uh, VRG. Now, you're going to have to, because this is the first thing anybody would notice, you're going to have to suspend uh, the difference in depth of field between these two lenses, and uh, likewise a slight difference in brightness between these two. These were just uh, conversions from RAW to 1000 DPI uh, JPEG, and uh, you're also going to have to ignore the sharpness. Now, obviously, one has vibration reduction. I could have brought out the uh, monopod, but uh, the storm was coming. So you're going to have to ignore sharpness because obviously one is VR and the other one is handheld. Um, so then the subject is roughly uh, 50 yards away, and uh, the uh, the background, you know, another 20, 30 yards, depending on what it is you're looking at away. So. Essentially, you're going to have to look at this like you're looking at uh, one of the uh, the magic eye uh, pictures. Now, what I've actually heard people say that I've actually shown in the past on these, not this particular test shot, is they'll say, well, there's something different about this, but I don't know what it is. It looks more real. And a lot of the times they'll use the word more real. But uh, like I said, you have to ignore the depth of field between these two images. And also, there's a brightness difference. Depth of field at 5.6 is not the depth of field of 5.6 versus 7300 versus a 300 millimeter prime. So obviously the shrubbery in the background here is going to be sharper on this image. And I'll have the links below for you. So you're going to have to ignore that and obviously you're going to have to ignore a difference in the sharpness between the two because one is vibration reduction and the other one is not. But what I want you to do is actually bring the images up full screen and not concentrate on any object in the picture but just look at the entire picture at once ignoring the color difference uh, due to a uh, slight difference in uh, it being brighter or darker between the two because uh, of a slight difference in exposure between the two lenses and you have to ignore the depth of field and I want you to look at the car in the foreground and the background and I want you to actually see and I'll put the links below for downloading, not, well, well, you can view them or download them, either one. But I want you to actually see how the car, for example, is ironed out. Uh, it's actually flat. It is actually stitched into the uh, background after that. Now, this uh, this particular um, characteristic of lenses becomes far more apparent if you're shooting a subject shooting a subject that is a lot closer with the background uh, an equal distance away since actually this main subject this uh, of course these are both boring shots the main subject is itself um 50 or 60 yards away you know this uh, becomes less drastic but it is still readily apparent you'll notice that on this image that the uh, car is separate from the background and that is not simply due to the fact that there's a difference in depth of field but it is actually visibly separated from uh, the grass background and the shrubbery back here regardless of sharpness and regardless of the fact that one is a brighter image than the other now like I said um, I need to shoot uh, another video on this using a primary subject that is about uh, 15 yards away with its background uh, you know 50 or 20 or 30 yards away this becomes uh, far more apparent but uh, so uh, hopefully you'll be able to see this some people don't see it but if you actually show the two images so which image do you like better regardless of sharpness so, so far as the rendition so far as where which one looks more three-dimensional to you you know uh, nine times out of ten some people can't see it. it's like well this image has better depth of field they'll notice that and they'll like the image a little bit better but that's simply due to the fact that f5.6 on a 7300 is not the same depth of field of 5.6 on a uh, fixed prime 300 millimeter so they will actually confuse that or the slight difference in sharpness between these two because this is handheld and this is vibration reduction you'll see the sharpness like well I like this image better because it looks a little bit sharper I said well ignore that okay and ignore the depth of field I said which one looks more realistic to you and nine times out of ten they'll tell you this image
but some people are actually only focused in on certain characteristics and that is what their brain has become addicted to or attracted to there some people are real sharpness sluts it's like well you know everything's gonna be sharp you know i don't care if the image looks like crap or how it's rendered you know it's all about sharpness sharp other people are only want to see the subject you know really sharp and the depth of field you know, out of focus so i like this image better i said well you know let's ignore all that image brightness sharpness which is kind of impossible for people to suspend that premise in their brains because they're so used to looking at things in a certain way and judging them that way. I said, which one actually looks more realistic as far as dimensionality? You know, you know, let's let's talk about like a piece of paper. Which image to you looks like a piece of paper and which image to you looks like a bubble wrap? Oh, I get it. You know, which one you know, okay. Yeah, well this one does. That's well yeah. Well, what's the difference between the two? Well, the difference between the two is you're talking six elements versus 17 elements. So, anyway, take a look at the links below, and uh, thanks for watching. Catch you later.